Hello and uh, welcome to part two. If you watched part one, um, I was at Fleetwood Rex trying to do some long exposures and I'm out again. Um, this is this evening, uh, part two of the same day. I'm at uh, Mary's Shell and Mary's Shell is just over my shoulder somewhere down there. But at the moment, I'm just concentrating on photographing the little troll that's uh, now surrounded in water and I've got the long lens on and I'm just doing a bracketed um, long exposure of sort of 25 seconds or so. I'm just messing and just playing at the moment while I'm waiting for the tide to get up around the shell. So this might be quite a short video because I haven't got a lot of time left on my battery on this uh, little Osmo. Um, so I might even switch over to the GoPro. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing, doing a few long exposures down at Mary's Shell and I'm hoping to get a nice cracking long exposure shot. I think we're going to get some colour in the evening sky tonight. So let's see what happens. And uh, yeah, part two, here we go. This is Mary's shell and it's it's just a metal sculpture it's made of something pretty hard and it's shaped like a shell and it's buried in the sand on the beach now the tide is behind me the tide's due to be in at half past seven so uh, I'm planning on staying here for high tide the tide's gonna come right through here and fill all this uh, shell with loveliness so I'm just gonna take a couple of shots now it's a bit harsh because the sunlight's out. I was really hoping that this sunlight that's right behind my head there, I was hoping that this sunlight wasn't going to be out, but it is out. So I've not got a lot I can do about it. Um, I had put this this afternoon or this evening. I was uh, going to have a few people down here. I put it on my Facebook group. Um, so the plan is to shoot that. Uh, Denise is here, look. Mrs. C's on the steps just behind us. And we've got Darren and... Uh, Chris over there as well so all I've got to do now is wait for the tide to come in and uh, I'm just going to take a few I might take a couple of shadowy shots get up close inside it in fact I will do not might I will do I'll take my tripod I'm suffering from a poorly hand at the moment so I've got to be careful when I'm carrying my tripod I fell over at work yep me I fell over and I've done my wrist in <laughs> so it's been bad all week so I'm going to take a couple of shadowy shots and I'll just spin you around to show you what I'm going to look thinking of spin here we go there we go. Right, yeah, a couple of shadowy shots in here so we can get a few shadows of the, the, the harsh sunlight and sort of get a bit of something sort of different, come up a little bit and get some of just a spiral shot looking through just to start off and uh, get my juices flowing. What else can I do while I'm waiting for the tide? Might have to take a few, show, two, a few photographs while I'm waiting. So while I think about it as well, I thought I'd just switch you back on just to let you know. I'm going to put up a few images as well from what I shot when uh, me and Denise came here a few years ago. Uh, not quite sure what the dates were but it was quite some time ago we came here and I took a couple of nice really nice um, monochrome moody images uh, there were some water some puddles around the actual um, shell and he looked absolutely fantastic so hopefully you'll enjoy these so I'm definitely going to be putting those up next for you as well as well as these couple of little shots I'm going to take while I'm waiting for the tide to catch up but yeah just let me know what you think about my older older style of images um, they were taken a few years ago now so uh, yeah have I changed? Have I got any better? Have I got worse? Let me know in the comments. Any comments to do. Um, again, if, if you're on my channel and you're watching this, please do comment. Um, it's really important that you comment. Even if you tell me what you have for breakfast, what you're going to have for tea tonight. And uh, yeah, it's really, it's important for the channel. It does help us grow. So yeah, hope to hear you soon in the comments below. Right, the action started. We're starting to get some water now coming around the bottom of the shell. So I'm now just looking at trying to get myself in a couple of different positions that just taking the shell and getting the, the holes and the, the geometric shapes, uh, which is what I'm trying to get. Uh, I'm trying to use the rule of thirds as well. I'm trying to put one point on one side of the thirds and the other point on the other side of the thirds. 
So I'm working on putting the center point um, on the third line and I'm just going to lift my exposure just to try and bring my horizon so it's not bang on the center, which I don't particularly like. Um, I've got my 10 stop filter on and I'm literally just taking a few shots now as the water's coming in around it. And I'm just hoping that I'm going to get some of this. See, there was quite a big wave then, so it's a little bit more water around the bottom. And I have got my slips, my flip flops on, so I'm intending on standing here long enough to get water all around the bottom if I can. So that's the plan. Fingers crossed I'll manage it. Well, I will manage it. It just depends how wet I want to get and uh, <laughs> how stupid it's going to get. So I'm going to just do a darker exposure now for the sky. This one's a slightly longer exposure. There's a tiny weeny bit of colour in the background, but it's all about these long exposures. That's what I want to do. Long exposures and monochrome if I can. So there's the first couple taken. Bracketed shots. I've got a little time lapse running as well, so hopefully that'll work. And I've just had me drone up, which was quite nice. So yeah, I'm just going to wait for a bit more water to come round because it's coming. Look at it, it's coming. Down here, the water is creeping round and it's not far away from me and the camera. And there is a bit of a, a high spot in front of me. This is a bit of a high spot, but once it gets over this high spot, it's coming down over my feet. So that's the plan. Get the water around the bottom there and we'll be quids in. So the camera's up and running. Um, I'm taking shots now every few minutes because there is a little bit of colour in the background, which is quite nice. You've got these nice moody skies and uh, the sun, the tide is coming in around the shell. I'm still stood in the same place, but I have to be aware that the water is also coming in around behind me. So I'm just trying to make sure that I've got, for some reason, all my photographs look a little bit fuzzy and I don't quite know why. This could be the long exposure again, the long exposure photographs on the tripod. So what I'm going to try and do is do another one and hopefully this is going to work. This is one of the problems I've had before where I'm trying to do long exposures um, with a lens that hasn't got any IS but the body might be trying to do the IS and it's making them fuzzy and I'm not quite sure why. The first one was fine not unless I caused some vibration before so hopefully hopefully these will be alright there will be nothing worse than getting back and finding I've got long exposure shots where the IS in the camera is trying to do the IS and we don't want it on But there's a nice reflection now coming as well. You're getting the reflection of the uh, shell in the bottom. And I think I'm in nice, a nice position to be able to get a little bit of the colour. You see the lines and the stripes. You can see the light going through it. And you're getting the reflection and the horizon. The only thing I don't like, and I've just noticed it, is the curl of the shell. The curl of the shell is just hitting the horizon. So I think I'm going to have to lower my camera just slightly, or higher at least, to get that in the right position. So... Bear only two seconds. <laughs> right, so I have got another image set up and I'm going to put this onto video for you so you can see what it is I'm actually shooting. And I'm going to have to just get a bit more lighting. The video is going to be a little bit dark as I'm showing you. Um, just because I'm facing into the light, but I'm shooting with the shell down at the bottom and I've got the big set of sky at the top there and I just like the spiral running out and I've put my horizon line quite low in the image so that I've got mostly sky up in the air so the camera's quite low and I've tried to get it so that I get enough light for all these little gaps through sort of the spiral coming through and you get to see the light all the way through. If I move around to the edge it blocks off part of the images so you don't get to see all these spirals so that's the idea of having, a, having the image where it is. So I can just about see from here and it's looking down through. I've also kept this point there away from the horizon. No. Yeah, all you gotta do is come in here, come in and say, hello, you wanna be on YouTube, say hi. Say hi. <laughs> you got to say hello. Hi. <laughs> this is this this is this is these kids come down to annoy me. Reprobates. <laughs> Reprobates. They come down to pester me to wonder why I'm talking to this camera and why I'm looking at you down there. So yeah, <laughs> all good, isn't it? Right. The tide is coming in. We've not been cut off being behind us yet. So uh, yeah, we're just going to keep sitting it out until 
it gets a bit higher but I don't know whether it's going to get a lot higher it's only a seven seven and a half meter tide so I don't actually know how far up it's going to come and it's due at we're going to have a half an hour of tide so expectedly to be coming up a lot closer to my feet so we'll see we'll see how it works we'll see what happens right so we've just had a look on the uh, tide app and the tide apps told us that uh, if I can get in my phone that is so the tide time is 7.20 and it's 10 past 7 at the moment. So I've got 10 minutes left of high tide. Um, so there's not going to be a lot more water here. And it's only a 7.2 metre tide, so it's quite a low tide really. Uh, sunset is at 9.45, so we're not going to get high tide and sunset. So we'll, we'll get something, but I'm not sure what. We might get some nice clean sand and maybe some nice wet reflections on the um, water. But we definitely won't be getting high tide and a sunset. But what I have done is I've come up now really close. I've gone out to 16 mil and I've got this really nice big arch of the shell and I'm looking directly down the middle of it and I've got water all around the bottom. So that seems to be working quite nicely. So this could be one of the last shots I take this evening, uh, depending on what the sun does and stuff like that. Um, I am here all night, so I'm not uh, too worried. We're stopping in the van. Uh, we've paid for the car park. It's uh, £3.50 for 24 hours. So that's not too bad, is it? So I'm going to take another shot at this. I might change my aperture down to f8, which will be a slightly slower exposures just to get a little bit of difference on the water. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed these images and I've done a few long exposures for you, which is what I promised and set out to do this morning um, in part one and in part two. Not quite got the perfect conditions, but everything seems to be working fair enough. And fair enough is good enough. I quite like this shot. I like this big open shell shape that we've got and the view looking for it but I can't stay here all the time because there are people behind me Denise is actually shooting from back over on the bank so uh, yeah she's going to want me to move in a minute so I will probably go over to the left and get a slightly different shape of it over that side and uh, yeah I'll bob up a couple of images for you let me know what you think in the comments and uh, yeah I'll speak to you in a bit before I check out okay i think i think i'm gonna call it now um i've just actually just seen some light rays out the corner of my eye so i'm just going to turn my composition slightly i've got light rays on both sides of the image at the moment so i'm just i'm concentrating on just putting the shell in the bottom corner and i'm just trying to get the light rays from both sides i'm just cutting the bottom of the shell off because i don't particularly need it, anything else below it so i'm just focused on the shell I'm at f8 at the moment. I could even go to f11. F8's fine. F8 will do. Uh, it's giving me a base image of two and a half seconds. Um, that'll probably go up and down depending on the, the bracketing. Um, but I've got these nice light rays coming down on the right-hand corner. I've got some nice light rays coming out on the left-hand corner as well. Uh, i tell you what this would make, and I will do it just before I finish off. I'm just going to set up and do a pano. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. Um, like I said before, hopefully there's something quite nice on here for you. Um, they are long exposure. I know I didn't do a lot of talking and stuff like that, but the conditions haven't quite panned out how I wanted them to be. Uh, I've had the, the filters on. It's more about me being here today and uh, having a few filters from other people who can have a bit of a try. Uh, I know Mike's got uh, one of my KNF filters he's using at the moment, and um, we've got another guy that's come down to meet us. I can't remember his name. I'll go and speak to him in a moment. He's just with Denise at the moment behind me. Um, they've got some it's his first time using filters so it'd be quite nice to show them a little bit of stuff so uh, yeah thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe I'm just going to hit this shut button again because it's sky's just opened up again and uh, yeah send us a comment let us know what you think don't know where I'm going to be next time yes I do I am going to Anglesey next weekend so we're going to have several different locations in Anglesey so that's going to be pretty good this is a nice shot nice one to finish off with hopefully I'll get a panoramic shot as well if I do you'll be putting that up or I'll be putting that up Till next time, I'm going to stop waffling. Get yourself a camera out. Get, get yourself... Oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I've gone to pot. Not my usual self, am I, really? I'll see you soon. Ciao for now. Bye.